Afrique Média. Le monde, c'est nous. Qatar 2022, what is at stake? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the World Cup, which is going to start by the end of this month, around the 20th. And the African teams that are playing, what is at stake? Cameroon has left already for the games. They are already prepared. Most people are expecting more from them. Today, we're going to talk about the coach uh, Rigobert Song's list, which he released two days ago, the reaction on social media, the way people uh, were expecting some other players to be there and others were not there. We're going to talk about the surprises on the list, those who were there, if they can deliver, and particularly uh, the president of Feka Food, Samuel Etofi's interview, which he had on another sister channel. We're going to talk about what he said and how people are praised it so this is what we are talking about today Afrique Media Le Monde C'est Nous Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome to Views on the Continent on your Pan-African channel, Africa Media. Today is the 11th of November, 2022, and we have one main topic for you on this edition. We're going to be talking about the football, the World Cup edition uh, 2022, which is going to be taking place in Qatar. It's going to start in a couple of days on the 20th thousands of people all around the world are expecting to watch the matches and follow up their teams even countries who do not have teams who went for the world cup are going to support those who are going on behalf of them like african teams we have five african teams that are attending the world cup and uh, thousands of people in africa are trying to throw the support behind the teams that are going on board today we're going to focus on what is making news in cameroon when the players left we're going to talk about uh, coach song uh, list and also the president of Africa food samuel to feast his outing and the impact it had on the country we've been following social media we've been meeting people out there and talking to journalists and individuals on their views on the preparedness of uh, the indomitable lions to take part in this Qatar game 2022 so to analyze the topic with me in the studio i have a journalist a seasoned journalist a sports reporter when it comes to football and other sports he's always on the full particularly football that's why i wanted somebody like him in the studio today because he is on the ground he has been going to all the matches is following people locally and also telling others what people think and giving his personal analysis on this topic so please let's welcome mr gilbert chefri good afternoon you're welcome to the program good afternoon to the channel Afri media uh sincerely it's a real pleasure uh, being on your panel today and I want to thank the top management of uh, this beautiful institution for having uh, laid the red carpet for me to step in here Thank you very much for honoring our invitation and for taking our time. It's been difficult for me to have you in the <laughs> studio because with the local championship, you're always... Exactly. No, I'm more of a sports reporter. Yeah. I spend time you know, covering matches all over the nation. Mm -hmm. you know, that's a, a passion. And yeah. by the way, due to, you know, and so that's why it's always easy having me here in your studios. Yeah. I've been trying to get you for some time and I'm happy we have you today. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I earlier said, we're going to watch a couple of reports, but uh, uh, in between the program, we have about uh, 45 minutes to be together so let's start by talking about the games we saw the images on social media i think uh, the technician will be putting the images as we we're talking how cameroon cameroonians the footballers were leaving to Qatar, and most people first of all applauded the fact that it's one of the first times that they're leaving early and that probably it will have a good it will have a, a role to play in their mindset what do you think about that does it ha is, it going, is it going to have an impact of course it's going to have an impact remember the last uh, time that was in 2014, mm -hmm. what happened before the Lions left for Brazil. Yeah. Uh, there was this little scandal, you know, before that, that the players uh, refused receiving the flag from the hands of uh, the Prime Minister by then. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, and again, that the, the, the aircraft that was, uh, you know, expecting to transport the players to Rio de Janeiro in Brazil stayed for over two days at the Simale International Airport. This time around, it hasn't been the case, you know. Uh, the players had their, uh, their goodbye game in Yaoundé. 
uh, where the flag was handed over to Captain Vincent Baka by uh, the director of the civil cabinet, you know, Mr. Samuel Von Doyolo. Uh, Baka received that flag and the others. And then yesterday, the first, uh, uh, you know, be preparing for the uh, you know, the World Cup. I mean, it's so interesting. And, you know, not only did they leave, you know, uh, for Abu Dhabi, but left in a spectacular way. You saw the aircraft that transported. Yeah, and the dressing was exactly. really... Yeah, yeah. Elder would address the guys. So mm -hmm. there was a uniformity in their dressing. And equally, the aircraft, I don't know what I saw that I mean, the aircraft that transported lands from uh, Simalan to Abu Dhabi mm -hmm. uh, actually carried the logo of the Cameroon Football Federation and uh, the name in the independence of Cameroon and in Lyon. So it's been spectacular and that shows uh, some uh, level of professionalism of what's going on. And uh, these, are, these are things we've been uh, crying for for so long. And I want to say these are some signs that will lead us to why not, you know, uh, grabbing something interesting when the World Cup kick starts on the, uh, on the 20th of uh, November mm -hmm. in Qatar. I mean, it's interesting. Uh, uh, kudos to President Samuel Tufis. And again, uh, those who said uh, behind us that there was a little uh, a worry between Samuel Tufis and Minister Nassis Mole they, yes. they were wrong. We saw them hand in glove. We saw them uh, in Yaoundé uh, at the Amado Edge Stadium. Sincerely, the images were wonderful and the signs are really, uh, you know, good on green, you know, for Cameroon. That, that really made headlines is, is the one of the first time I think when you have a good mindset it also exactly. plays all of us in our different jobs when you're 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 pretty with your program you feel good when everything is ready you feel exactly. good so let's just hope it, it also plays with the mindset of the people so let's talk about the list Rigobert, uh, uh, coach Rigobert song uh, put out his list the list that people have been waiting for and the list was shocking to some people others were saying no the list is professional and others are not understanding why a player like Gadu is not on the list people don't understand can you what I too like I'm a journalist I used to be a sport journalist before becoming a political exactly, journalist so I've been following it and I know Gadu played all the matches with them the respect that he should be we saw the role he he, he, exactly. he he's the one who even gave the main pass exactly. to uh, Nicolas Kulu that gave uh, uh, the win well, to Cameroon so uh, everybody would think that that kind of player will not miss on the list but the surprise like I don't understand why and some other people don't understand why probably you was always on the field with them do you think it's normal that Gado should not go no it's not normal even. with your permission uh, I'll take compartment after compartment. Yes, so that it start, helps people start, to understand, understand better. Yeah, let me start from the goalkeeping compartment. Yes. Where, you know, we he selected uh, Andre Onana. There's just no question mark about that. Uh, you know, uh, Davis Passi uh, uh, of uh, Abba mm -hmm. in Saudi Arabia and the uh, Olympic of Marseille, second shot stopper, uh, you know, Ngapan Dubet, you know. Uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the only uh, stuff we can contest from there is the, the third choice goalkeeper, uh, Simon Ngapan Dubet. We had expected the Gomez song to scout for a local you know, goalkeeper. Okay. Why not Ashu Kerido of Union Sports of Bola was having a good start of the season? Mm -hmm. Why not, you know, uh, uh, Marcelin Babi of Gazelle of, Ga uh, Gazelle of Garwa? Uh, why not, you know, uh, Kibian of Bamutos of Buddha? We expected him to give that opportunity to uh, home base players. A home base player, sorry. Why not an Andre uh, Fabrice Ondoa? Mm -hmm. You get the point. Yeah. But, you know, uh, somewhere, somewhere understood why. He never selected Fabrice Ondoa. You know, if he had selected Fabrice Ondoa, the, the, the ambience in the lands then wouldn't have, been, wouldn't have been a good one. Why? You know, why? Because uh, with Ondoa in the den, uh, you know, fans back home and abroad all over the place would be each time putting pressure on Andorana. You know, each time he has a, a little game, which is not all that, you know, interesting, they were putting pressure to have Ondoa in the goalpost. So, Rigobe Song didn't want that to happen in Lions then. He wanted, you know, serenity to win and that the classification should be uh, kept without any contestation from anywhere in the world. And that's why on, on, uh, Fabrice Ondoa wasn't selected. Because Aww. there was no problem selecting him as a second choice or the third choice. So, it's, it's a matter of serenity in the Lions then. And then going to the uh, defense line, uh, Olivier Mbaizo, Nicolas Kulu is coming back uh, sincerely with the rich experience he's got. Nathan, can you put the thing. list on? Can it's, you it's put a, the it's list? A, it's a good thing for, for Team Cameron having Kulu. We know how uh, experience he is having accumulated matches for Cameron and uh, professional clubs abroad, Olympic of Marseille, uh, you know, uh, Watford and many other clubs. I think Kulu's coming back into Lions then. It's a good thing. Remember last time we attempted having him uh, but it failed, but mm -hmm. his comeback is a good thing. Uh, Olivier Baizo, that's where I contest. You know, um, Baizo is true, he plays for 
you know, the, the, he plays for he plays in the US in the MLS, the Major League Soccer. Uh, but we didn't expect Baezo to be selected. I for one for a World Cup competition with Caliba. This is a guy who has never convinced us. Yeah. Since called up for the national squad, so I didn't expect Mbaezo in the squad. Maybe we would have gone in for, uh, you know, someone else. You know, a darling young who plays in France or somebody else. Uh, than having a Mbaezo in the squad. Or even a local, a local player because local the local player, players have been doing really exactly. pretty well. There are many of them. And it's about Peter Dovamena would have come in mm -hmm. to play a Yusufa or Zaifi of course of Garwa. We expected one of them to 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 to, to be selected yeah. at, that, at that level, a uh, defense compartment. And they're not taking Mike and Gando. Since Ali Emmanuel has been a big blow in the neck. If I tell you, I didn't I didn't have a sound sleep when I had that list without Gando's name. I I, I, would, I would tell them I, I would tell them telling lies because Gando is one who sacrificed a lot for the squad. He's been regular with the squad. Yeah, he follows the he ball. Follows the he's ball. everywhere. He's been there. If the Lions have played 20 matches and Gander's played at least 19 of these matches and he's given him the best of himself. You, you said it uh, earlier in Twitter that uh, the, the, the qualification at Blida and Gander took an, an active uh, part in it. From he was the one that connected the ball to Kao to Koe Kambi and that took Cameroon to just the fact that he connected it uh, and took us to the World Cup and then and he would have been rewarded for that. Yeah, Kao to Koe Kambi when I was talking as well. Exactly. Of, but then it, it, it brings us back to yeah. the Chutan scenario we had in uh, uh, that was I think that was in 1998 when Chutan Bena uh, participated actively for the qualification of the lands of a World Cup in France and was kept aside. It equally brings us back to what happened to Roger Bemila in 1990. We needed a presidential decree to take Milan to uh, to the World Cup in Italy and all those things. Maybe a presidential decree will take <laughs> my hand. Have country. you seen the hashtag <laughs> gather back on the team going on on social media? We exactly. have people that are signing petitions. There's there are a group of people that have signed more than 3,000 people. I, I started up with 100. I checked the list yesterday. Yeah. There were already 3,000. There are other lists that are going up to 5,000. Do you think something like there's an uprising? Like everybody's asking Gado. This is the first time that I'm seeing majority of Cameroonians exactly. are behind a particular person. Jean Paul Akono one of the lands former uh, trainers uh, yesterday and a close you know uh, collaborator of the Camel Football Federation said it yesterday in one of the, 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 the media channels around he said it that it was out of question uh, dropping down for the World Cup you get the point it's really painful I mean but then uh, I did some findings and I I don't want to say them yeah uh, because uh, you know if I if I do say them yeah uh, people might contest they might not agree with me you know uh, I, I think I should say so uh, because yeah, we shouldn't because just go, we, we shouldn't go throwing stones at uh, 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 Coach Gobe song and mm -hmm. others were there. Some even say the list wasn't read by it. Wasn't the players were not selected by the Gobe song. <laughs> and the selection by, by, by President Samuel That is a real thing. trainer of the New Lions of Cameroon. Yeah. Well, we all know that the, the names were read, you know, live on TV by uh, Gobe song. We saw the images. Yes. Know, we all saw the images. Mm -hmm. It's true that he poorly read the names. Yes. And because he poorly read the people said, how could he select players and then? poorly reads the names you know uh, it, it looks a type you get the point so um uh, jean paul akono said it you know the, the the game we had against burundi in bujumbura there was a little uh, a trouble between gandu and zambuangisa as in Tele, and uh, it really took a different dimension oh yeah 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 those are things that yeah threats were even uh, uh even took the air when it came, it came to, to to that dispute they had in Gandan and that and attempts by the the, the camera football. Remember that day, President Samuel went into the dressing room yes, and yes. was very hard on the boys. He told them nobody had nobody had a place guaranteed in the national squad. Even the last uh, time we went to South Korea for the games against the friendlies against Uzbekistan and, uh, and South Korea, mm -hmm. these players were still being monitored by the Camel Football Federation. So I think you're, you're not. You're yeah, not and what know. people don't know this, they don't know what's happening and in the Lions then, exactly. and so people just talk, talk probably talk. telling people this that yeah, because yeah. when you're insubordinate, exactly. no matter if you're the best, best you go you through punishment. You go through punishment. Definitely. And, and so, so all attempts by the, the FA, the Camel Football Federation. And you know, and, and the Ministry of Sports and all so reconcile both parties as Zabu and Yisang and Gandalf failed. You know, since the two knew they were, you know, very sure, sure yes, of going to Qatar and all those things. So it, it was out of prison. And I have told you something President Etofis is one who split the World Cup. Several he said it. Cameroon had one of the best teams for the past World Cup to went to, but failed each time because uh, the ambiance that always reigned in the lands then wasn't the one. I got, that I get could, it now. That's exactly, why he's fighting exactly. against and that. So we couldn't have a Zambuangis and a Michael Gando, two people. Not They're not going to pass the ball to each other. You get the point, yeah. right So the, that's just one of the points. The other one I won't say here. I'll be telling you off, mm -hmm. off here. You know, mm -hmm. honestly, because it's really uh, painful. 
But well, I think that means there are many things on the back which the back. people don't understand. Why? That. Why won't they select a Michael? I Gattuso? know. I did not get that. He is that consistent. Is, when, yes. you, when you get back to the records, he's been playing for La Gantois in, in Belgium. Mm -hmm. If he's played, if they've had five games at the Europa League, in Ghana is present. If they've had uh, 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 ten or eleven games at the level of the Jupiler League in, in Belgium, in Ghana is present. So, if, he's if, at if, the if, top exactly form. with the Lions equally. Yes. So that, there's just no reason, reason for any trainer in the world. To, to not take it. So it's a coordination could be the case. Could be the case. And if, we, if they try to put the both parties, we're going for a big game. Exactly. And with somebody like Samuel Little, even with Gobert Song, the experience, the vision, you remember that They're both of them were even exactly. not in talking terms. Yeah. When, uh, in, the Brazil, in Brazil in 2014, we had a, we had a lot of troubles. You yeah. know, the, 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 the Alexander Song, yeah. uh, you know, Punch and the others. Yes. The, the, the Asue Koto, Benjamin Mukanjo. There was, there was And this is all the things that stopped us from uh, you know, uh, uh, forging ahead at uh, the World Cup. And so, President of Office earlier told you that we are going to Qatar for seven games. Seven games mean we are going to play the final. I want to bring back a trophy in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to the World Cup or to play seven games and having players who don't talk to each other, you need to eliminate, you all, eliminate all, that all that because there's yeah. just no way. Exactly. There's just no way that you will not talk to mm -hmm. another player. We saw it, we saw what destroyed the team. Despite the fact that they never have their prim, then the players were a knock ahead. Exactly. How would you play with that kind you of team? It could not even work. We all saw it, it showed on the field. Mm -hmm. And now people will get to understand what happened because exactly. they are trying to avoid such a situation exactly. that both of their main players, you go out there and you mess things up. You see that they're actually thinking about themselves, but the game is bigger than them. Mm -hmm. They're Nations playing for the country. Is what if should conquer. both parties, That's what we're saying, yeah. exactly. exactly, if uh, the Ministry of Sport and FECAFU try to bring them together, it's because they are playing for the nation, nation. they are not playing for themselves. themselves. And so, if they do not want to put their personal ego aside to play for the nation, then there's no need to go. No, no matter how best player you, you are, are, but the no. bad spirit it can could be affect other. Once you are not disciplined, we can't go for you. Definitely. So mm -hmm. I think that should be a very clear point. People should yeah. understand that because when it was happening, most people did not get the point. People have been talking about it since. No, today. they should. They should. I see the hashtag everywhere. Gandu back. But, but well, well, <laughs> they, 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 if, the, uh, if the football, if Gandu acknowledges that there is that little problem and that he can come back and apologize to you, yes, and we try to sort things out before yes. the, our first game, I think something can still be done. Yes. Because uh, we can still body finalists on the eve of the World Cup. 24 hours today, start of the World Cup. There's a possibility, okay, it's possibility of doing some modifications. Okay, yeah. yeah. That then then he should because probably maybe when they called them to sit on the table to make peace, <laughs> he was still very full of himself. Exactly. He did not know that the name went out. Exactly. So now that they don't see their names, exactly. I think it should be ringing exactly. a bell uh, in their heads exactly. and they'll try to behave differently. <laughs> okay. Another surprise on that list, Basogok. Basogok. That's somebody <laughs> I, most people do not get it. I saw the hashtags reading on Facebook. What is Basogok doing there? Where did he play with the team? Yes, he has been performing in his club, but like we you know, playing together is different. Mm -hmm. It's just like when they went for the can, they said this is a team that grow together because playing together, exactly. the spirit and the team, uh, uh, the friendship is different. And so he has not played with them for a while. Where is he from on this list? Like no, people no. don't, people don't understand. Anyway, he's a he's a player. Exactly, he's, he's a player, a, but he's like a and he they did selection. not expect him to be on this list at this time. Like mm -hmm. it's just like Clinton J. You don't know the, the, the stuff that even Clinton deserved the selection. Let me tell you something. He plays okay. for Sivas Ball. Yes, and he uh, he's very performant. He's, 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 he's been playing in the Europa yeah. League, yeah. and he's been playing, you know, uh, the Turkish Super League. Yeah. All those things. He deserves the selection. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to get into this. Why he wasn't selected for? For, for the World Cup and all mm -hmm. those things. Mm -hmm. Maybe they, they, what he had last time, the other scandals he got involved yeah. in. Yeah, well, he, he had a huge in, role. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, but for a player like Basogok saying, uh, contesting his selection, I think it's the wrong thing. People, people don't follow uh, performances of different players. You know, for a player to be selected at the level of the World Cup, the national squad, uh, there are two elements in play. You have competitiveness and performance. Is Basogok competitive? Yes. Basogok's He's played over 20 matches with Shanghai Shenhua, the Chinese Super League. Go on, very far, man, right? you, you agree with me. He's played over 20 matches uh, with, with that team. And Basogok is C performant, yes, equally. Basogok has scored over five goals. He has given over six passes, decisive passes, mm -hmm. and all those things. Basogok is competitive and performant for his squad. An additional stuff for Basogok. Remember, uh, the last AFCON we won was in 2017, and Basogok was the MVP, the most valuable player of that tournament. And so, it was out of question that a World Cup that precedes in an AFCON we won, the last AFCON we won, mm -hmm. we have an MVP who is competitive and performant and is left out of the show. It is not normal. Basogok has qualities uh, which can be exploited up front. Uh, you know, in a one to one man, you know, uh, drill, 
you can count the Basso. He's the one that can beat and give a pass. He's the one that can give the crosses from the flanks. Basso can equally come from the midfield in order to play on a one to one with a two promoting Carl Toko Kami Brian Bemo. So, this is the qualities that have been analyzed, fully analyzed by head coach Rico Besson and his team. He's not working alone. Yeah, Mark definitely. That, yeah, exactly. He's not. Mark you, Rico Besson has in his squad uh, Carla Kogorimo, Sebastian Mignye, Simo Bosso, and others. So, it's a team of experienced, you know, and well trained coaches. And, and even if he's working with Samuel Leto in the same team, they're experienced they're players. They're experienced players. So, you know what I mean? so Basso has qualities uh, which could make sports analysis. The only player, the only attacker I'm contesting the selection is Jerome Ngombekevi. I know this player so well. He plays for Column of Jai Lobo. I've watched his game severally. You know, dropping Elian Tawamba or in Nashville's Ghana go for a Jerome Gombekeli, I think it's a big mistake for us. You know, it isn't because he had a good game against Jamaica and then you go on for a game and you select him. No, it's, 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 it's not fair. You get the point. Mm -hmm. I think uh, there's something people are not telling us here. You know, several of his, um, there's what we call, uh, you know, campaign awards. I am the one that, you know, keeps his words behind. Uh, the campaign words, you know, uh, it of his actually received a huge support from the South region. And Colum of Jaya Lobo is the only team from the South region. And so there was a need of rewarding the people from the South region. Mm. So selecting Jerome Gombekini from a Colum of Jaya Lobo side was like telling the people of the South region, thank, thank you for you. pushing me to the head of uh, the Cabo Football Federation. Which is not really what we need at this moment. Because uh, well, he, <laughs> <too needs, laughs> he too needs the World Cup as badly. Uh, no, we uh, see uh, him. Uh, no, what, what, what the, the stuff that when, when these players go for the World Cup, I think they, each, each, each day they spend in the camp, uh, I think it's something like seven thousand dollars that goes uh, to the club. So Colum de Jalobo are sure of having seven thousand dollars. If it happens that the Lions go for over a month, wow! Imagine how much they'll be fetching back home. You know, these are some of the things. You, uh, by the way, the president of Colum of Jalobo, Mr. Asian, is a very close friend and one of the one of the most influential members of the uh, Cameroon uh, Sanctional Football uh, Promotional Football Committee. So you can understand where that selection comes from. I get it now. I think most people out there too. Thank you very much for your analysis. That's why I needed you in the studio <laughs> because I know you're on the field, particularly with this local player. So um, let's talk about one all sports. Like uh, uh, the T-shirts came out. Uh, President Samuel Etofis was at uh, the Grand Mall in Douala, and the T-shirts were open. We saw the T-shirts. Like uh, a couple of people or a handful of people have criticized it. You know, nothing, never, there are some people that even if you do what, they will criticize. And it's always good because you have another opinion of something. But like majority that we have followed, I'm on the news and we, what we have met people and spoke, talked to them, they are appreciating something different. And the one, they say it's high time they move on. It's high time we try no. something else. What do you think about one or sport and the jerseys and everything which came out this No, week? I think it's a, it's a good thing. It's always good to give a try somewhere else. You know, uh, when Puma came, they offered to us uh, an interesting package. And they fully kept to their words. They fully kept to the terms of the contract they signed with the Lions of Cameroon. After Puma, when Puma, you know, when the value of the Lions dropped, you know, in the football market, Puma, you know, came in with another proposal. You know, the, the FA president by then, Mr. Sedou Mondria, didn't, <coughs> didn't agree with uh, such uh, terms of contract. And so we had to go in for Cox Sportive. Mm -hmm. Cox Sportive came and all those things, uh, agreements were made, contract was signed, mm -hmm. you know, with the different articles, you know, people in the clauses, America, yeah. the clauses invited uh, uh, to be kept, you know, all those things. And I want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, put it on the line articles 6 and 9 of the contract that linked us to Cox Sportive. It was said in these articles that uh, they learned that Cox Sportive dropped into the coffers of the Emirates of Cameroon, I think something like uh, 287 thousand euros and all mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. and if the lounge picked up a qualification to work up they'll give us a bonus of uh, I think 125 euros all those things uh, early uh, early June or whatsoever they didn't keep into that it, early, I think it was early April they didn't keep to their promise and so the FA the Camel Corporation wrote them wrote a letter to Cosmos reminding them of that you know and they you have know, not it, kept I, I, I was, it's equally stipulated in the contract that we have a deadline of 30 days, uh, you know, in case a notice is given to respond. If they'll respond, they get into the, the terms of the contract and, you know, they can cancel it, all those things. So a letter was sent to Cox Sportive. They didn't respond. They gave us death, yes. Another letter was sent to them, 30 days later. That means accumulating 60 days, no response came from uh, Cox Sportive. So we had like to you're minimizing like, them or they're not exactly, serious. All those things. So they, they were like minimizing those mm -hmm, who were there. Mm -hmm. And it looked at. Like, 
it looked it looked as if there was something fishy that was going on behind you know cox sportive and the contract and the terms of the contract yeah and if they were also signed that contract by then and those things i, I it looked as if equally they were like protecting some you know individuals who were involved in it and they didn't want True. to like, bring them out to the uh to the public to like you know uh let people know that no listen this contract has been signed but they will, the, 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 the cash and others uh are not really getting into the coffers of the fa but getting into individual pockets and mm -hmm. all those things that's what i thought yeah. so president office you know is one who doesn't like to be pushed to the wall you know, remember the last, Af last Afghan uh, where the ladies, the women, yes. went to Morocco? Yes. You saw what happened? I Abu saw Dhabi what the war even. Yeah. For one <laughs> like Samuel <laughs> Tafis, for a nation like Cameroon, yeah. who's been to the, uh, to the World Cup for over seven times, mm -hmm. won over five Afghans, yeah. playing a tournament with players having jerseys where they are wrapped and all those things, it is out of question. It was really a big shame for Cameroon. And President Samuel Tafis and others where they couldn't accept it, you get the point. And so, eight of his came back. And that's where the one horse, but you know, uh, path was taken. So when people come contesting to us saying all those things, we gave enough rope to pull, uh, to cross People to don't pull. understand that. Exactly. They just think they just got up and said no, 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 because he's the president. Do, do you know where the mistake comes from, Emmanuela? They knew they had their people in the dark. Like Yanni and others who could go to the presidency, to the Thank prime minister. I office. wanted to talk about that. Exactly. Like, who could those go there. were involved. Yes, who could go there and use some diplomatic you know, relations and others and get uh, eight office and others and the FA uh, coming back to the tables. No, they failed. Little did they know who eight office is. It's one, when he takes decisions, you know, it's not easy for him to come back. And I think it's the right decision. And it's time we Cameroonians stand move behind. On. Yeah. Move, uh, move on. Stand behind uh, one of sports. It's not a matter of uh, sending the French people out of Cameroon. That's not the case. No. It's a matter of uh, Cox Party failing to keep to the terms of the contract. And since they failed keeping to the terms of the contract, they have to be kicked out. And one of sports we're going to Qatar. Mm -hmm. We one of sports. And I hope that uh, all the blessings of the people uh, and all those things, one of sports is going to fetch us luck. Thank you very much. It, it, it was amazing, uh, the colors we saw, the different designs. It was a little bit different from what we are used to. I think that's why some people do not really uh, digest it very well. But you know, <laughs> the so best thing is that the, the, the yellow color that used to fetch us still a lot was was pushed that, out of it. You know, there's, there's this <laughs> myth that yeah. when they play with that yellow, <laughs> yellow color, color because exactly. every time they actually play with it, they missed. Yeah. They failed. So people have this myth that the yellow color, some people, that was their reason of supporting even this. When they saw it, they said, that yellow color is not the okay. No, but, but they forget that in 1984, we won the Afghan with the yellow color. We beat the Eagles of Nigeria. We but it's one colors. time, two, many times that we have been playing, so it did not really show, reflect what people yeah, wanted. Yeah. And But when they wore the dresses in the group, yeah. it was beautiful. Yeah. Like, we hope that the beauty that they are going we will fetch us the results that we really want. Um, let's get to this very crucial moment because the interview uh, uh, Samuel Ito did, he has not spoken for a long time about so many things that were happening around and so people had to speculate guests like the, the terms of the contract people did not know he came there with files and we read that way he actually read some of the amounts and people knew what was up because we had stories let's talk about the amounts people were hiding they said he was hiding uh, uh the, the contract that the signed with cox sportive uh i beg your pardon with one of sports because uh, he wants part of the money for his pop from his pocket i read all kinds of things on social media and we know that that's the trend now if you want to get the most news you get go on there but it's just that the news is so mixed up you need to be able to select the right information if not so you're going to get into deep but when, when he spoke about the money and even read the contract what did you think you know uh, there was a trend to follow there was an organigram set aside by president Samuel to to reveal the content of the contract mm -hmm. <coughs> remember the last uh, GE general assembly African Fusion Assembly here in Douala. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. what, yeah, uh, it was stated you know, the, the, the members of the GA, uh, the executive committee, took uh, you know act to content of the the, the contract with one of us. They all knew and they applauded. They applauded. These are the people running football. Yeah. If they never contested, then it, mean, it meant by then there was no problem. Yes. You get the point. So from there, people would have read the letter and the envelope. They didn't do that. Mm -hmm. They wanted eight of us to come out, and he told us, you can't have you know uh, an organization that comes and you know, drops into your coffers a billion francs CFA every year. You can't have an organization that comes and, you know, drops into your coffers uh, close to a million euro. That's close to 750 million francs for, uh, you, know, uh, you, know, you know, kids and the others. Yeah. You can't have an organization that comes to provide you a bus uh, if yeah. the contract is kept till the second year. Yeah. What else do you want? What was Cox Sportive offering to Cameroon? Sure. I want to let you know that Puma, Puma was offering something better, but a value dropped in the football market. Uh, Puma switched off. So Cox Sportive came, what they were offering was even up to that. It's true they said that they attempted uh, meeting President Samuel Tofis for that contract to be renegotiated 
and he refused dancing with that audience. That was, that was the case. But what happened before that? So these are some of the things that we have to applaud the FA that's in place. They are not. They are working, you know, uh, day and night, sleeplessly for football to take advantage. Yeah. But what we can see, sit and say behind is that they are doing nothing. I think. And another thing I want to add, Emmanuel, is that one of sports not only coming to uh, to dress the lines up or the different uh, national squads up, mm -hmm. but they're equally coming to help our local football squads. Your football clubs they call that's it. what we so need we, that's what we need yeah. our kids are playing in the, in, 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 in the streets without jerseys on they're playing without uh, you know football shoes on and other things and it's out of question it's time we bring uh, you know it's a partner yeah. that's not only going to drop into our coffers some money but equally provide us with enough kids and all those things so uh, the, it's, it's, it's a good it's a good thing for Cameron and uh, for, for for the first time ever we have the right man at the right place and I think President Summit of his deserves a push for what he's doing he deserves not only a push but a prayer equally because there are some evil people who want to crush him down but they won't By all costs. The, the, the nation we stand behind him and we know that in the years to come we we shall be speaking talking of Cameroon of 1984 we had to feel a bigger be the renters in this world city we shall be talking of the Cameroon of 1990 we had the Stephen Etat at all. Mm -hmm. We had all those names. That's what Etofis wants to bring back. And he's bent on doing that. The Cameroon in 2000, we had the Mark Viafoui, Laura Etamba, Salma Olembe. That's the Cameroon we want to bring back. And we need somebody that can hit the hand on the table. Somebody that can, you know, pull the strings against corruption and all the malpractices going on at the Cameroon Football Federation. And Etofis is that person. I really appreciate it. It's true that there were some mistakes he made uh, during the first conference. I didn't appreciate the part where he said he often uh, gives... Uh, you often get five thousand francs to some, you know, some, you know, musicians for them to. I know it's not good when you help. You give somebody a helping hand. Don't come to the public. Don't you think it's <laughs> yeah. anger? Yeah, I know it's anger. Like, but, like he was yeah, touched and he no, said, "Okay, I'm going to a, deal with you." Let, let him know he's a leader. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a public figure, you know. And when you are of that type, people always say things against you. Yeah, that's it. So not, I think he, he should he, learn yeah. from that. It wasn't. You, I know. We know it was an over three. Uh, as interview, it wasn't yeah. easy for for him to mm -hmm. stay focused, to stay tuned on it all, you know. But the, you know, yeah, in my opinion, he needs to go back and apologize for what he said. You know, you don't help people. That bad? Him, <laughs> yeah, it's bad to me. It wasn't a good thing. And you see, it's been it's taken a different twist. Yes. People have come out and say, "Oh, uh, so it's tough." Is that time when he gives you a franc, he goes behind and says, "Oh, you know, yeah, you owe me yeah. allegiance because I gave you a franc yeah. yesterday." You no, know, that's not the case. It's not because you gave me a pair of shoes yesterday, mm -hmm. you gave me a loaf of bread that I owe you allegiance. No, that's not the case. True. What do you think about what he said about or how he handled the question about his relationship with the Minister of Sports? That was very important because we know what has been happening behind doors. We are hearing that yes on the wall, but like the come out, how do you think he handled that? I mean, I have not just seen that the, the, the speech he made that day has equally brought, he has brought back <laughs> Molly Kombi into <laughs> and the minister. You know, at, at Fanday now, on Wednesday, I was there, you saw eight of his and Molly Kombi and Grove. Yesterday at a Simalan airport, the two men were there. I mean, it was very right. important. Yeah, so it was, it was, you know, a turning point. That, that, a reconciling uh, speech. A speech, honestly, <laughs> so it was wonderful. I think for the first time ever, uh, you have a guy was not going to school that way. Let's bring it back on the table. Yes. If you go looking at his uh, academic, he profile, did the adult school. Yes, he did because the when he was school. much, when yeah, he people, left and he was climbing, people were questioning. And they, at a certain point, they were, were insulting him. They said, "Girl doesn't have the BPC and all those yes, things." Yes. But you mustn't go to uh, former schools uh, to to acquire the knowledge. This mm -hmm. is a guy who has natural wisdom, and I today am one of those uh, really thinking that we should not only uh, call him Doctor Samuel of the Fees behind us, but we should openly attribute that title to Samuel Etofis, Dr. Samuel Etofis, because, you know, the, 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 the management lessons he gave us, yes. uh, yeah, uh, yes. that, you know, what management lessons he's still giving us yes. on the terrain, I think it's uh, really work for our university lecturers and professors mm -hmm. who are really lacking, you know, remember the last time, mm -hmm. some of these professors were blocked out of the, uh, the, 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 the classroom, mm -hmm. so they come off of the and they failed awfully, but you have a guy who hasn't got a BPC, always doing marvelously. So it's, it's excellent. What people need to know about per the president of Ekafut is that he went back to school. He went back to school. He, did. Exactly. he has he done adult education. People should be told about that until he has a degree. No, 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 you know people want to. No, they want. They want to verify academic profile. 
Did he go through a, a, a government bilingual high school? Did he go through the senior class? Yes, yeah, did he have a, a BPC? Did he have this? No, that's not the case. You know, the he other did. way. I think not... when he was in Spain, he had exactly. went, exactly. and he felt it because his environment. He mm. saw that he was he needed to because everybody around him he was the least. He was rich, but when it comes to academic, he cannot talk to anybody. <laughs> I think he knew it was high time he went back to school. school. When you are ambitious, we saw George Weah. Exactly. George Weah, even went when he school. first try he tried to vie for the president <laughs> in Liberia, they told him you did not. Do political science you cannot stand here <laughs> he went back to school started from year one and did political science till he graduated he went through the parliament they said no you need to be a parliamentarian before you he went there and actually because he had a vision yeah, and he knew cool. that to get there i need this so even though he did the adult school but he did it, it he did it and he's the president of liberia <laughs> today so i think if you want to do something you have a focus you go through and uh someone little fish said it because um most people have been talking <laughs> they said no he's the, to, to them he's the best uh, manager now, he is, he and is. so he should probably be the president. And he spoke about oh. the political career. What do you think? How do you think he handled uh, that? We, because we, probably we, that he needed to make that clear for people to understand. Yeah, yeah. Don't mix up when you're doing something so well under what you you are trained for or you are blessed with, and think that you can do it in all other angles. It's we can't be Manuela. Uh, uh, I, 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 we want we need him for now. Yes. At the cabinet of immigration, because yes. there's a lot of things to be done. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be sincere, people with want you, him everywhere. To be sincere with you. <laughs> With the way uh, uh, the, the way he's doing things, and the, the the way things are taking, you know, uh, you know, the positive tune at the level of the common kind of football federation, mm -hmm. why not have a summit to face in the next presidential election? We all agree that uh, ahead of state for now, it's true, it's not bad, but a lot of things are not going on. And now. we know he cannot do it anymore. It, he's it, getting to his yeah, end. Yeah, he's getting. It's, it's, it's natural. It's, it's natural. not like something someone is fighting. Yeah. So why not have a summit to face turning in? As candidate for the Cameroon People's Democratic mm. Movement, most people are calling on that. That's why he says he's distraction now because he, he, <laughs> he's, he's, he, he thinks he's not a politician. He thinks he, God blessed him with the football knowledge and also to manage football. So he does not think. But if he, I were the head of state, I would appoint him minister of sports. Yeah, that should not, be. That not should only, be. Not, I not, think not, we not, take not, note not, of not that. Not only to uh, solve the issue of Cameroon football, but to solve the issue of all the sporting other fifty-four sporting federations. You think he can handle it? He, the, he has shown proof that he can do, he can do it. Yeah. I think that's a very. Most people are not talking about that. Yeah, they are thinking yeah. about him as the president of the country. But, <laughs> and he said he's not. He, he's no, not no, his uncle. Are so desperate. Oh, yes. I need a change. Yes. Uh, the arm of the Everything is going so bad. <laughs> so right now, if you're handling something so well, and he has shown proof of his domain, it is clear. Like he has handled it progressively, yeah, exactly. and people think, even though he's not perfect, <laughs> nobody no, no, is perfect. Nobody is perfect. Well, because there are some is. people when you read the way they talk, it's yeah. as if uh, there's somebody that is perfect out there. But with what he has done, people see the progression from one level to the yeah, other, yeah, yeah. and on to they are the ones calling like this is our president <laughs> and making a lot of mix up. I yeah, think. Yeah, candidate too. I think he made it clear to everybody like they should let him do his job, and probably the minister of sports should be a very good position where he should be vying for or mm -hmm. the president, as you said, because he is a by appointment. Now, to me, it should be a step by step issue, mm -hmm. from uh, uh, the, the, the FA president to the minister of sports, and why not? Wow. It's not a Cameroonian. Yeah, he is. Everybody <laughs> is eligible <laughs> to handle that. There's something he said about that marked me as a journalist and then other people, other journalists out there on our journalist forum and other angles, most people talked about it. He was saying like, he's trying to fix football. He's trying to make players, players leave off their football. You cannot go to school or even if you choose whatever to do and you cannot leave off that thing. That was, that, that's what actually make people frustrated, make somebody, you see somebody behaving and you don't even understand exactly. because the person cannot meet up with what he actually vied for. And so he's doing all that to really make everybody comfortable. He spoke about journalists mm -hmm. that if, Bosses, those who own media houses and the rest could treat their work as well. He has heard journalists go for two years, three years without salaries. That's why it's easy to tip them off and they say what you want them to say. But if everybody could be like well paid from what you do, like you do your job genuinely and you live out of that job that you do, then why will everybody not be well? What, what do you think about what he said? Uh, he, he really said it, but he, he forgot the real it is, you know. You know, in Cameroon, <coughs> uh, you know, the taxpayers are the ones, you know. Uh, receiving the blows on the neck, and no matter where you're working, if your boss you know brings out on the table while well, he pays us tax, it's the over the government, and what he has in return as earnings, you know, you would look like you know or try to at the given point understand why maybe a month went by without you receiving your salary. Mm -hmm. I still am supporting, you know, like I'm encouraging all those having media houses to poorly treat their journalists. You know, you know I'm not doing that. Uh, it's not easy in Cameroon 
having an, an issue and you know a, a major house a major organ and then running things and then shipping the salaries you know the, uh, running it's very very difficult you know so what we're saying is that they, they, there's a problem in Cameroon I don't like talking politics. I'm sports oriented. And but several it, it affects when, like, yeah, when yeah, you do it, yeah. it affects the other the, domain. The, there's a problem with our nation. There's a problem with our nation. Uh, the head of state is putting a lot of efforts, but his collaborators are uh, each time, you know, like uh, blackmailing. Let me use that word. Blackmailing is what some of those things. And because of that, other institutions, organs in both realms don't, 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 don't get it right. Eight officers come in. He has pro provided, you know, uh, you remember in his campaign speech, he said, He's going to like recite, train the, the, the journalists, mm -hmm. you know, 30 million francs each year for them. The first part has been done. Recently, journalists were in Yaoundé, where they had a seminar and all those things. Uh, it's true that not all of them were there. I wasn't there, you know, so one who's been, I'm one of the reporters, one of yeah, the most prominent always, sports reporters yeah. in Cameroon. I don't, I don't boast, but um, you get well, anywhere, for that, for that you find out. But, you know, having a seminar and not everybody being called up, it's, uh, it's not good, you mm -hmm. get the point. So, well, um, what he said is right. But you know, the government should help. If there's a way, it will can give a helping hand. So the media, you, you know, things. people are going to okay. misunderstand that. With no, there's, everything there's... that he touches, there's a problem. So if you just dare to just cross to that angle, they'll say, Aha, aha, he wants <laughs> what, what, to try what, what, what to be a boss What I want to think is this this is what I want to propose to uh, Mr. Samuel Tofis. When you go to, uh, to countries like the UK and others, mm -hmm. uh, most of these football clubs have their TV channels and all. Yeah. Now it's not there's no possibility for maybe a union of Douala or economy only to have a well equipped TV channel. They could come maybe to Afri Media, create an Afri Media sports channel. Yes. And and they receive each time some pensions from the Cabo Football Federation to forge ahead. So that they sign a partnership where Afri Media in return could like promote, you know, the image of the Cabo Football Federation. Yeah, the earnings from that angle could help maybe the boss, the manager of Afri Media to like increase the salaries of the of the workers and when that is done there will be more interest focus you know the, the terrain we won't have journalists who are paid to see any type of thing that's a very good angle that uh, uh, suggestion that people have not really thought about like to create come exactly. to a channel because building everything the machines and sometimes it's expensive Safe. so but come to a channel and then create exactly. another in that channel, channel so that like the the channel covers the main exactly. okay that that's thank you very much for that for that idea that's a good one where we hope this program is always watched and so let's hope it reaches the, the the right ears um he also spoke about a way forward and what he's trying to do and his perspectives and that people should give him a chance do you think people are really giving him the chance uh, or why is there too much hate out there when it comes to him like if you look at there are some people that no matter what happens they don't want to hear anything they don't even want to give a chance like see reason why do you think there's so much hate out there no uh, but, uh, there are just a few of them <coughs> Cameroonians are behind some little face he has uh, the full flesh of all the people they are behind the FA prison the story is that <coughs> when little face took over the, the football federation mm -hmm. he had some disgruntled minds yeah. and simply because they had not completed you know the nasty job they had in place and so that's embezzling uh, 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 money and all those things, yeah. and these are the frustrated ones. Do you know that before they took, could take over the FA, you had some uh, individuals or even workers of the FA that were having earnings from the FA, unjustified earnings? Yeah, I heard some people were sleeping in four hotels, hotels at the same time. That means the hotel bills each time are paid the Lions went for games, Manuela. Do you know what? Each time they went for games, you have people coming with their kids, their girlfriends, and others. Under, in the lounge, the, the in, in, in the aircraft, in the hotels and the others, and the actors concerned were really get to the second, to the background and all those things. And these are some of the things that it took. And, and the, the funds are from where? Like from Fekafoot? From, food. from Fekia food. And this, uh, the football federation never offered a single subvention to players, to clubs and others. Each time they expected subvention, subventions from the head of state. That if the head of state never gave this, I think it's 560 million francs for clubs, there will be no kickstart of the championship. Let me tell you, since the office came, has he received a franc from the presidency? The last time funds were disbursed, but never got into the coffers of the FA. Where we had, you know, a smooth championship that started from day one without any hitch and went to the end. All those things. It is these are people who have the, the money, the money they embezzled from the FA and, on, and elsewhere. Yeah. The senators and others who are disgruntled and they have that power to get into the streets, get, meet some journalists, talk to them, give them some tips, and they go behind and blackmail the cover for federation. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. So we don't need that now. We have a guy 
was willing to work. We have a guy who has fetched us from that spot, who has given us the possibility of having a billion francs yearly, 650 million francs for a, uh, for, for a sports kit. Mm -hmm. A guy who was giving us a new bus, a brand new bus for the Lions and all those things. A guy who was taking a look at the way the Lions are traveling to Qatar. Yeah, very So comfortable. professionally and the others, yeah. what else do you want? What else do you want? He needs our support. He needs our prayers, you know, Emmanuel. He needs that. And I know that he, he, he the last time, who contested, I even expected him to ask that question, yeah. contested that during the GE uh, of Camera Corporation, yeah. they actually extended his mandate to serve Yes, I was going to get to that before yeah, the end. Yeah, that was yeah, very yeah. important. He was being asked there, like, you want to stay longer in power, yeah. and he spoke about he, that. His mandate was extended to serve yes. yes. And was, he, he's not the one who did it. I took part in that GE. I was present. I think Elizabeth made members, that clear to members. Members of the, the, of the executive committee said, Mr. President, for so long we've not had it. For so long we've not had a championship that has gone for three uh, months with 25 clubs. Now we have a champion. Mr. President, for so long we've not had the lands, the players, the Indians going, playing the matches without, you know, a player gumbling, he's gone back home without a friend. Mr. President, for so long we've not had this, we've not had this. It is so positive. And what we think is that, there's still a lot to be done, Mr. President. Yes. And the three or four years left uh, wouldn't be enough for you to accomplish mm -mm. that. Please, we are on our Can you move from four to seven years? That is what we said it. Okay. So he, he was not the one. He People wasn't think the he's the one. one who decided to. He didn't decide. How could he? Listen, there's something. When you get into the, 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 the internal rules and regulations, so the, uh, binding the Camera Football Federation, yeah. it is said that there's no power which is beyond the executive committee. And the office knows that. So the executive committee is the last, you know, organ that decides on what happens at the Cabo Corporation. And each time it office it refers to the GE for the financial to be taken. Most people do, are not aware of that. The, you know, uh, CC Cameroon, the president, uh, we know with this assembly, they always decide to increase. So exactly. they just say, ah, he's following the same line. Mm -hmm. And he has come, people don't want him, and he increased it. I think people should really get that clear. Exactly. That they are the ones who proposed and he... And, and it's true, he has a lot of work. Yeah, he, he has, has a lot of work because um, one of the players, the player who took Shrive the ballon d'or, <laughs> said we're in the dark. We're not in the he, dark. Said, <laughs> he said it's so clear. What do you think about the ballon d'or? Some people are watching it like it's the first time that has ever happened. People didn't even understand Spect that we, we could do that kind of thing in the first place. It's a spectacular ballon d'or at the Congress Hall where, you know, uh, players for, you know, it's true that for the people said it was not the first time it's true. Uh, the other others were there organized something. We never resembled anything. Yeah. But this time around, we saw something with the Patrick Boma was a vast of ceremony. Mm -hmm. It was well organized. Journalists came from all the four corners of the nation. Um, some came from abroad and other things to cover the event. You saw something. And when Maru tells you that uh, he's taken camera football out of uh, the dark ages, he's right because. Uh, what we are seeing, what we saw mm -hmm. some months back and others and what we are still seeing, it is worth applauding. Yeah. And when we say we're taking football, he's taking that thing, we surely encourage on such was it was not like people said no, Maru was like, you know, it was an opportunity for him to throw praise and, yeah, and praise and seven praise and <laughs> pick up, you know, a, 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 a seat in a lion's bus to Catano. That's not the case. Maru actually <laughs> actually was saying what the players were yes. and witnessing and those yeah. things. Let me tell you something. There's a footballer who played for New Stars of Duala some years back. Do you know what he's doing today? The guy uh, works in a local bakery around. And after his duty as in, in that bakery, he goes around with the back a brother who gave to him. This guy sustained an injury. Uh, in a game, I think it was Nusta asked of Dwala and was abandoned to the club. So, so uh, these are some of the things that the is fighting against. You can't be a footballer, you go in doing your job well, three or four years later when you're retirement, you don't have, a, you don't have something to eat. To fall back you don't to. have anything to take care of yourself, your family and all those things. It is out of the question. The salaries of the players are now 200,000 francs in Manila. The wow. player was 200,000 francs if you laid out with the match bonuses and many others at the end of the month the player will be having at least 250,000 francs is not enough that is for way more than <laughs> to be responsible to take care of his family more than a dual salary exactly Emmanuel. you agree with us that back in the days most of our footballers were arm robbers yes yeah yes because they didn't have food to eat and what do you expect the player was going for training without food he sits back in the street yeah and when you pass him by, he gets your phone yeah. and, and sells yeah. it out. So that Mostly around where exactly. the fields are. You never exactly. pass on 6 o'clock. Exactly. And it's as if when they finish the match, they just stand around, around and just... And they, they, they pick pockets <laughs> and all those things. These are things we are against. And we are... And it officials come to say, listen, football has given me everything. I am what 
I am today. That's yeah. football. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I've been given the privilege by the executive committee and those who are there to run the affairs of football. Mm -hmm. In return, I'm going to offer to footballers what they really deserve. And that's yeah. what it's actually doing. That, that's that's a great deal like this is the first time that i really feel that the local champions uh, championship has taken its full because before parents will not even want their children to play football in cameroon those who have money are trying to send them out because they know from out they can become something and then they take them and bring in but i think this is high time parents can even have hopes that my child can play in this championship and seen from there to go from step to step so i think it's a very big what, what, what last words what can we say to cameroonians uh, concerning the Qatar game from what we expect so let's just start start with last words from what we expect from the team and what people can do at this moment no we expect the lions to put smiles on our faces we expect them to keep to the words of the president Samuel Tofis, going for seven matches i know it wouldn't be easy yeah. you know it looks like a comedy show but there's <laughs> a possibility of doing that uh they have uh you know <coughs> a big a big a big a big you know responsibility in the backs mm -hmm. and when you look at the performances of these players the competitiveness you agree with me that there's a possibility of doing that. The triple motive always on a you know a good line with Bayern Munich. You have an Andrew Lowe's been keeping a series of clean sheets with Enter of Milan. I thought uh, Joel Matip was going to come back. No, you know, Matip, Matip was you know a tenth of a story. You know, we, we went running here and you can't you can't be running here for long. Yeah. He, he's not a, he's not the only player. Cameroon is a, it's a nation of footballers. There are many Cameroonians in different teams of out course, there. Of course, like... of course, of course. Frank uh, uh, Van Dijk of uh, Frankfurt, uh, Jerome Mongene of uh, uh, Frankfurt and others. We have so many defenders. We even lost Kylian Mbappé. Uh, There's one more. There are many one players, again, so we yeah. can't go running behind the player. So long. It is true that he was frustrated when he played. Yes, we all, we all. But know. then, we all did we not apologize? Yes. Did we not apologize? We did. How, how, how long did they expect? And apologize? power has changed hands. Give everybody a chance. That is what happened. Uh, Brian Bemo came back to Sudan because he said it's a, it's a new executive in yes. and he spoke in the place of of office I looks professional he's coming to join the team Christopher Owen many others were there it's real professional you saw it yourself yeah. yesterday when he left for Abu Dhabi yeah. Didn't it look professional? No, it did. It um, did. Like everybody, p people applauded. It's like they were not seen by the lions. They were <laughs> so, somebody asked if they slept well yesterday. <laughs> oh, the trend on social media is so wild. But I like people are following. I think uh, it's left for Cameroonians to throw their support. Exactly. And that's not so what we're saying is that not only their support but their prayers. Yeah. I know it's time. You know, football is the only thing that brings all yeah. the Cameroonians from all the no four matter what. Nation, no matter what. <laughs> No matter the differences when <laughs> yeah. the Lions are playing, mm. you know, the Bamiliki becomes a product of a Tupuri, yeah. BTs, there's nothing like Cameroon Renaissance movement, there's nothing like the Cameroon uh, People's Democratic Movement, politics is thrown behind. Yeah. And uh, what we're praying is that the Lions put smiles on our faces. Let them permit us celebrate Christmas in the big of the uh -huh. biggest of the time. <laughs> Let them permit us get into 2024 and 2023, 2023 the yeah. biggest of ways yeah. by giving us a series of victories yeah. uh, in Qatar. Even if they reach just like the quarterfinals, eh? to me, eh, it's... Know we're going to play the final. Yeah, well... Mark my words, we're going to play the final. <laughs> yes, we hope for the best. <laughs> but if they reach the quarterfinal, we're going to celebrate as if they won. Because like from what they have gone through and the transition, people, people, some people understand. I think they'll do much more better in the future because things are just getting in place. Yeah. But like, way to go, way to go. We really wish them well. Thank you very much. Thank Mr. you very Kimber. much. It's been a real pleasure, Manuela. Uh, I hope to be here regularly. Yeah. Thanks to the top management of this beautiful, uh, you know, uh, media organ. Mm -hmm. Sincerely, you guys are doing a wonderful job. People keep on appreciating what you're doing. Please don't stop where, uh, where you are. Keep on flying high, and we hope that. Uh, I hope that next time we'll be coming here. Are we coming to celebrate maybe the first feature of the maybe Yes, the yes, definitely. <laughs> I, I really pray because we're going to have programs, so we'll need consultants. I, I pray you have time. Since the local championship have ended now, so you're not going to give me excuses. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Thank you too for coming. Stay to the programs on Afric Media. Tomorrow you'll be with another journalist, another topic. Stay, uh, have a beautiful weekend. Today is uh, Friday and Saturday. Tomorrow you're going to have the Pan-African debate at 3 p.m. local time. You're going to be with Larry Swedoven and panel. Next Next week Saturday, I'll be with you with another football topic and four different panelists to analyze the games that would start in a few days. So stay tuned to programs on Africa Media. Bye bye.
c'est nous.